Hey everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Obscure MCU. In this episode, I'll be covering the Ironmonger armor, a creation of Obadiah Stane and the first major antagonist of Iron Man. Obadiah Stane was the business partner of Tony Stark and a good friend of his father, Howard Stark. After Howard's death, Stane became interim CEO of Stark Industries, until Tony officially took over shortly after. Stane's jealousy of the younger Stark led to him betraying Tony by joining forces with the Ten Rings to organize a failed attempt to assassinate him. When his involvement with terrorists was exposed by Pepper Potts, Stane created an armor and adopted the name Iron Munger, and attempted to kill Tony himself. The Iron Munger armor was reverse engineered from Iron Man Mark I, and had many of the same capabilities as the Mark III armor. One of the Iron Monger's defining features is its superhuman strength. Each arm of the suit could effortlessly lift up to 7.5 tons. Stain used this superhuman strength to hurl Iron Man around like a ragdoll. He even lifted a car and hurled it at Iron Man with ease, showcasing the immense power of the suit. Another feature was the suit's enhanced durability. It could shrug off ballistic weapons like bullets and survive impacts like crashing into walls or tearing through concrete. It was constructed with Omnium, a steel alloy of remarkable strength developed in Stark Industries Sector 16, specifically for the Iron Munger suit. However, this imposing durability had a critical flaw, as the armor couldn't function in the freezing temperatures of the upper atmosphere causing it to freeze over and suffer a complete shutdown unlike the gold-titanium alloy of the Iron Man suits. Additionally, many of the suit's core mechanics and wiring were vulnerable, as they were positioned in places where they could be easily damaged or manipulated. A weakness that Tony Stark exploited to disable the Iron Monger's targeting system. The Iron Munger suit was also capable of flight at high speeds. Stain upgraded the Mark I armor's flight system with better thrusters, almost allowing him to match Iron Man's speed as they soared through the sky. Stain incorporated powerful flight jets into the armor as well, making it capable of sustained flight. The thrusters could reconfigure into a flight mode for long-distance travel or aerial combat. Other abilities included Superhuman reflexes Despite having a less advanced heads-up display than Tony Stark's, Stain displayed remarkable reflexes. He could dodge many of Iron Man's strikes and even seized a passing motorcycle in the midst of battle, using it to launch a counterattack. The Iron Monger's onboard computer had limited navigational features since the suit was based on Stark's Mark I, which lacked a computer system. Obadiah focused on a smart targeting system through the heads-up display. However, this system became useless when Tony ripped out the component from the back. The Iron Monger's armaments included, a minigun mounted on the right arm, and a rocket launcher mounted on the left. And a missile launcher integrated into the suit's right shoulder. After the lengthy battle, Stain was ultimately defeated, and the Iron Munger armor was destroyed. What is your favorite mechanized suit of armor in the MCU? Let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Impossible. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps!